Hey guys, we're back with another video. This one is going to be a how-to on how to install Cobb Access Sport software, maps, how to uh, upgrade firmware, uh, how to tweak these maps as well with uh, Cobb Access Sport Tuner Race. Uh, due to the fact that Cobb Access Sport does not have videos on how to, I couldn't even find them on YouTube or anywhere on the web. So this is, I, I think, is going to be very helpful for a lot of people. We're going to start with a Cobb Access Sport V3. Um, I doubt you guys can see it. Um, I'm sorry I'm doing it on a camera to the computer screen, but I don't have screen capture, so uh, bear with me. To begin with, when you buy your Cobb Access Sport, your V3, make sure to, to install it on your car. My vehicle is a 2005 Forester XT. Now this uh, vehicle, um, once I installed my Cobb Access Sport, I installed the first map I found in my um, Access Sport, which is I believe a Stage 1 91 Octane. Um, it's very basic. So once I did that, you go to Access Sport and you install their access port manager, which is this one right here. Access port manager will allow you to download new maps, new ROMs, and in fact, it's going to allow you to keep your uh, your maps and your information fresh on your access port in case you need to um, tune, upgrade tweak new maps through um I'll show you guys in a minute there we go I went ahead and, and uh, let's say once you install access port access port onto your car you hook it up via USB first thing that comes up Here's your maps. That's all green and dandy. And um, your Cobb Access Board is going to look like that. Now, if you want to go further than just basic maps, just as an example, if you want to um, erase the TGV valves, you want to tweak your own maps, you want to make sure that everything runs like you like it, go to the Cobb Access Board page. It's very simple. Um, once you go to the um, cobtuning.com and look out for the Access Tuner Race, Subaru Access Tuner Race, you're going to download the, the request form. Basically, it's the email request form asking you for your information. It's going to need the serial number for your, for your um, access port. It needs to be hooked up to your, to your Cobb Tuner or Tuner Manager, excuse me. And then when um, Access Sport will send you an email that will look just like this, telling you have 24 hours to download the link. Once you download it and install it, like right here, this one right here. Once you install it, Tuna Race will be installed. Let me see if I can get closer on this thing here. Again, sorry, I don't have screen capture, but all right. Here's tuner rates. Here's the reason that I like tuner rates. To begin with, I do not have, I, I did a TGV, actually to start to begin with, I had a bad TGV valve. I took it to the dealership and de the dealership told me it was gonna be $2,100 to replace my TGVs. I said, screw that, I replaced it myself. I bought the parts, but before I even bought the parts, I figured, you know what, I already have an access port. Let me try and see if I can erase those codes. And it's very easy. Once you install the access port tuner, race, make sure that it is connected and hooked up to your access port when, while you're installing your tuner race. The tuner race will come up and it will read your access port tuner. Once you run your tuner race, make sure you go to Access Port Manager and turn it off or close the program out. The problem is if you run both of them, it will it will block each other out. So 
for connection to your access port tuner. One, once it comes up, make sure you go to, this is for the TGV instructions, okay? Everything else is up to you. You're gonna go to edit, advanced parameters. This little page will come up. For a 2005 Forester XT, the advanced parameters that I need to erase are the P204 all the way up to P201, P2022. Once that's installed, let's say I hit OK and I want to save the map. If I want to save the map, it's going to bring me up to where I want to, what you want to name it first of all. Long description. Revision number, if you uh, have done a few of them. But here's my recommendation. Because I had already loaded the map access port, uh, the map for uh, stage 1 91 octane on my car and on my access port tuner, I figure, you know what? I can actually, I can actually tweak all these maps that are already in here. So let me show you how. You go to uh, File, Load Map. Once you hit low map, it's going to go back into the, uh, to where you keep your maps. But I will show you exactly how to save these maps and um, rename and, and everything. It's, it's actually pretty cool. We're going to open Access Sport Manager. See, you see these maps right here? Hit file, load map. They're right here on AP maps, right? Let's grab uh, stage 193 octane. All I gotta do is grab it and click it over. And I can load that up. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's go ahead and cancel that and go back into it. All right, so file on access port to an erase, load map. We're gonna load up my stage 193 octane All right, it's already loaded. Everything here, it, it still looks like nothing is there, but it's already loaded. You go to Edit, Advanced Parameters. You go to the uh, P204 all the way P to P2022, just like I mentioned. Unclick them. Once you hit on click, hit OK, and then you go to File, Save Map. And uh, under Save Map, you can change it for example, just like I did, I did uh, stage 191 manual transmission TGV delete. And then under long description, all I did at the bottom was added TGV delete, delete option. Once you hit finish, once you hit finish, it will be, here's, yeah, it will be, um, let's go ahead and close this out. We don't need it anymore. It will be under your maps, under your AP maps. The way to find it is you hit search for maps and it's going to go into your AP maps and it's going to look for the uh, right here on the right side. I hope you guys can see it. It's very simple. Though, let's say we uh, did the 91 octane TGV delete right here on the top, the first one. Just click on it and then hit, it's right up here. Oh, you guys can see it. It's right up here. It says upload map. Once you click that button, all these maps that are right here on the right, excuse me, the one that's highlighted, let's say all these will appear here. For example, the 91 octane on my right, this one right here, it's this one. Because it's already uploaded onto your access port, you can bring your access port after this to your car and upload that TGV delete and it will be the, the TGV codes will be erased out of your car. 
So you don't have any more problems with that. Let's say you have either a dead sensor or you do a TGV delete from uh, Grim Speed, just as an example. You can do that with Access Port now, uh, where a lot of people are we're having issues with it. And, and it's really that simple. So again, to begin with, install the Access Port onto your car. Make sure that it has your car, uh, it's married to your ECU. Install one of the um, um, maps in it to your car. Go to your computer, install Access Port Manager, which will allow you to add more maps onto the onto the Access Port or add the the um, add more maps, basically either online or the ones that you took yourself with Tuner Race. Remember, Tuner Race. If you go to the Access Port website, you request the Tuner Race software. They will email it to you, you download it. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, yeah, I had to open Firefox, sorry. But anyways, download Tuner Race while you're in, which is this one right here. Before you click install, make sure your access port is connected, that it is connected. And then install it. Once it's installed, and you bring up Tuner Race, you can tweak up your maps, do whatever changes you need to, to your maps, save them, and then upload them back onto your Access Port through Access Port Manager. Now that's the way that I found myself on how to do it. You can actually do it yourself directly with your laptop, with Tuner Race, with a USB and the access port connected directly onto the ECU in the car, you can actually tune it live. I'm not doing that yet. I'm not that uh, advanced on it, but I'm uh, uh, hopefully learn a little bit more uh, as time goes along. But hopefully this helps you guys out on how to erase TGV deletes, how to install access port manager, how to install access port tune erase, how to uh, uh, tweak your own maps or install your own maps load them to your access port and then back to your car um, as something that's you know I would I would assume that Cobb access port or cop tuner cop tuning would have videos off and you know help you guys out make things a little bit easier but they don't I mean it's that simple they, they, they just don't and I did ask I did send a few emails out but um, again you know I just want to help other people out with uh, issues that I had, you know, that took me, it took me a while, it took me a few days of research for me to be able to do this, which I really needed to erase the TGV codes due to the uh, emissions testings. And you will pass, by the way, 